Can we do bars all together? Uh, 10, I am 11. here in Thessaloniki as the head of this whole program, Composer Collider Europe, which is a big version of a small thing we did for years in Cologne. So we had the idea to just try to get the means for a bigger version, three different conservatories of three different countries, with uh, four young composers of each country, so all in all it's 12 composers, and not only the tryout rehearsals, but in addition, a concert. And in the end, there will be, in addition, a tour with all the pieces that are played again in the other town. So far, uh, the experience um, has been very helpful for me. We had some meetings in Cologne last year and this year now in Thessaloniki it's the first phase of the project which means four of us composers have their pieces performed so the experience for me is just um, working uh, very intensively on a new piece with a very professional and uh, one of the best actually ensembles in Europe, Music Fabrique. This is an amazing project that we have, the Composer Collider Europe with Music for Break. Okay. Our students will have the chance to write the most utopic compositional ideas and to have them rehearsed in a very intense way to correct the materials and to have their composition which will be perfected and played in the concerts that Music Fabric will give in the different cities that the Composer Collider Europe will take place. This project is really great and uh, in these days I'm, I'm learning so much because uh, I'm working with really professional people with a really professional organization behind it. I get the possibilities to, to find my mistakes, to, to recover, to, uh, to experience and try out solutions. So this is really important for me as a student. It's wonderful, the, the work that we're doing, and I think each day we are all noticing how the pieces are gradually coming up, coming up, and the, and the dialogue with, with each of the composers is also um, extremely important. I think one of the things that one can also notice is that, of course, not, not every composer is used to working with an ensemble of people who play this kind of music every day. So it's, it's natural for us to, to want to push boundaries, to try everything out that they can possibly come up with. The idea is, one, the idea is that we, we see this as a, as a musical score. I play tuba with the Ensemble Musikfabrik and I'm also responsible for our Spielbar. The word Spielbar in German is translated as playable in English and each one of the works should be playable by normal people who are non-musicians and um, who have no musical instrument, no experience of playing instruments or of reading music. All of the scores or nearly all of the scores are written in prose. Now we're going to start composing and doing music but first of all Every group will perform to each other. We start, we can start with you guys. They are sometimes graphic scores, so it's like a painting or a sketch. And go. And we use these works to work with groups of people so that they get the chance to find out, A, to find out more about <laughs> contemporary music, and secondly, um, to just accept the invitation to make music with each other, which is reflected in the name Spielbar, because afterwards maybe we can go to the bar and we can have a drink together to wrap things up. These people should go out and tell other people about it. So the news about contemporary music should spread as well in this way. We are very happy to host such a great ensemble like the Musikfabrik as Hubble in Thessaloniki.
we don't have such opportunities to have uh, an ensemble of such quality and uh, such professionalism. It was also very useful for uh, the composition students of our university and uh, not only our university, of all the uh, universities, institutions, music uh, institutions of uh, Thessaloniki. It's actually, actually, it's a little, it's, it's kind of strange because uh, normally I don't have so many performances on my country and now I have performances in Thessaloniki founded from another institution and it's quite strange. The audience of Greece is not so interested considering contemporary music. That's the reason why I consider this a great chance for the audience of Thessaloniki who are interested in arts to to have a look on what's going on, to have a listen on what's going on around in Europe. Well, this third uh, phase of the project is yeah, very important because it's like the culmination of a uh, whole process. Well, during the previous phases, it was really very important to work out all the materials to, of, of the final composition, to explore the sounds and techniques and well also now it's like the very moment when, where you see if the combination of all the things are functioning. So each part of the Collider Composer, there are three parts all in all, each part consists of two meetings. The first meeting is a tryout meeting where the young composers present their ideas and they have the possibility to speak with the musicians, to try things. And then there's a very early rehearsal where they can just try out what they want and there's no pressure. And then the second meeting is uh, then the end rehearsals we had now here, uh, the last days, and uh, a concert in the end which will happen tonight. So the Thessaloniki concert tonight will be the first concert of this Composer Collider project. I'm uh, pretty sure that uh, the project will go on in the same way in the other two cities, in Cologne and uh, Den Haag. I'm pretty sure that uh, the project will uh, be successful. Yeah, I think it gives something to the music and, and, to the, and to the soul as well. Like being able to finish a rehearsal, open the door and see this wonderful sea and this wonderful uh, city. It's, I think it makes very good to, to the music and to the project. <laughs>